When you're resting, you're entering into the trust. You're entering into the confidence. You're entering into the reliance upon what has already been done. Amen. That's what that's what you do Amen. when you're resting. You're resting because something has already been finished. Amen. You're entering into something that's already been completed. Amen. To rest doesn't mean to become idle. Hmm. Like I said before, don't get lazy. Don't quit your right. job. Amen. Right. Amen. It doesn't mean to become passive. Right. It doesn't mean don't deal with it. Right. Your finances, Jack, you need to deal with it. Amen. Amen. But rest. Rest Amen. in the confidence of it. Get you some help. In this ministry, uh, what's the guy's name, Dr. Tim, that we went to a uh, radio program? Uh, Dave Ramsey. Dave, Dave, brother Dave Ramsey. And we took the, but we bought tickets, man, took the, took the church out there. Because if tithing goes down, giving goes down, something will be wrong with folks' finances. Let's give them some help. Amen. 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 I believe it, as your pastor, that this ministry is here to help. Become debt free. Amen. Amen. Because as soon as you become debt free, now I can become a giver. Amen. It's easy to give when you're debt free. Amen. Amen. Okay, watch this. It doesn't mean to ignore it as if the problem's not there. You're resting in that which has already been done. Jesus didn't make you poor. Oh, no. Scripture says he became poor that you and I may become rich. It didn't say millionaire. Right. It didn't say he'll make you a billionaire. He says, Jesus became poor that you and I may become rich. rich. That word rich means abundantly supplied. Amen. That means nothing missing, nothing broken when it comes to my financial Amen. situation. Amen. I'm able to give because I, when the Holy Spirit says give, yes, I'm able to yes, give. Yes, yes, amen. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Have you ever heard uh, a, a lawyer say, I rest? My, my case. case. Amen. Your Honor, we rest. Mm -hmm. He's saying, translation, that everything's been completed. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. We're done here. Mm -hmm. Amen. We rest. Amen. See, Jesus says it is finished Amen. on the cross, Ooh, and he hallelujah. bowed his head and gave up the ghost. Hallelujah. Thank he, you, Jesus. Everything that you desire and need Thank has already Jesus. been taken care of. Amen. It's finished. Amen. We rest. Amen. Amen. Got it? Amen. Okay. Look at verse 2 in Hebrews chapter 4. See, that lawyer says, I've made all my arguments. Mm -hmm. I have nothing more to say. Mm -hmm. We rest. Mm -hmm. Hebrews 4, look at verse 2. For unto us was the gospel preached as well as unto them. They're talking about the good news now. Right. Watch this. But the word preached did, did not profit them. Why didn't it profit them? He, he's going. Not being mixed with faith in them that he heard it. In other words, you come here and sit all for, for 10 years. Mm -hmm. But if you don't apply the word and you don't believe that right, word, right. it'll never profit you anything. Amen. Amen. Christians are dying every day because they don't believe the word. I'm talking about Christians. They don't have no business dying. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> don't have no business dying. But they're dying anyway because they don't believe the word. Christians are li living in lack, shortage, insufficiency. What? They don't believe the word. Mm. Now, I know what you're thinking. You're saying, how you know they don't? Because I know they don't because you'll see some change. Mm -hmm. You'll see some change. Verse 3, for we which have believed... Those who believe do enter into a, what? Rest. As he said. So if you believe, you're going to believe it. Resting is simply believing or having confidence and relying on what God has already done. Amen. Amen. It goes on to say, as I have sworn in my wrath, if they shall enter into my rest, although the works were finished. Tells you again, the works were finished from the foundation of the world. For he spake in a certain place of the seventh day. Oh, here we go. On the seventh day. On the wise, and God did rest the seventh day from all his works. Go to Genesis, because this is what we get in rest. When y'all have church, share this Sunday. And it uh, ain't no big deal to me because I worship God, I worship Jesus every day of the week. Amen. And 
I'm finna blow that out the water right now. Mm -hmm. Amen. 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 Don't get in all that debate where you know y'all have it. You sin and you ain't sin. You having church on Sunday. You be having church on Sunday. Mm -hmm. Where you read that? <laughs> Amen. Amen. Yeah. First day of the week is what? Sunday. Sunday. Well, I ain't gonna get into all of that because I don't talk to them about all that. Watch this. <laughs> the key to the Christian life is learning how to rest. Amen. The key to you living a Christian life is learning how to rest. Trust that the Father says it's done. Right. Amen. Trust, trust God that it's done. Amen. Amen. His, his word says that he has already supplied all my needs. Amen. He's already supplied all my needs. Amen. Amen. He's commanded the blessing upon me. Thank you, Lord. I'm blessed. Yes. Amen. Amen. Beyond measure. Yes. Amen. He's already blessed you. You don't have to go in your prayer, Lord, bless me. But he already said, I bless you. Amen. Yeah. See, Amen. you, so you got to know how to pray. Yes. Right. Lord, bless me. He's already blessed you. Amen. Amen. When I get up, I just say thank you for thank all you your blessings. Lord. Yes, yes. Yeah. Amen. 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 Thank you for, for the blessing. I walked through the house thank the you, other Lord. day. Hmm. Thank you for my home. Thank you for my car. Amen. Thank you for my front. Just walk around the house. Thank yes. you. Thank you for food in my refrigerator. Yes. Amen. 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 Just thank you, Lord. Yes. Amen. Cold AC. Come on. Yes. Amen. 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 You don't want your nerve break down in the summer. Not here. Amen. I, I've been through there all that. It ain't nothing nice. Your red get dry. It dries up real quick. <laughs> <laughs> we, we was up all night. Where in that time? <laughs> then you had a fan blowing on you. Before you know it's dry, you just got a dry rag. <laughs> now watch this, watch this. The Christian life is learning how to rest, not how to work and do something. All right, amen. Sweat is victory. Amen. Yes. Okay, you in Genesis? Because yes. it's verse 4 and... and, and, and we just came out of verse 4 in Hebrews. Mm -hmm. and, he, and he said, and he spake at a certain place of the seventh day to the wise. Now, we get this because, folks, you know, the rest is what the Sabbath betrayed. Mm -hmm. So Genesis chapter 2, verse 1 says, Thus the heavens and the earth were finished. Thus the heavens and the earth. God has finished his work now. Mm -hmm. Amen. Thus the heavens and the earth were finished, mm -hmm. and all the host of them. Verse 2. And on the seventh day, seventh, seventh day. Seventh seven day. day. And on the seventh day, God ended his when we get this, this Saturday, the seventh day. And on the seventh day, God ended his work, which he had made, and he rested on the seventh day from all his work, which he had made. See, most of the cats that's in that particular domination, they working overtime on Saturday anyway. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But you mad at me because I had church service on Sunday. But you worked overtime yesterday. Mm -hmm. Didn't I see you eating too? <laughs> okay, all right, all right. On the seventh day, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. God ended his work. Mm -hmm. God ended his work. work. God ended his work. work. He rested on the seventh day from all his work. Mm -hmm. Here's where we get into the debate. That's the Sabbath. Go to Exodus 20. Exodus chapter 20. Because here's what they get. See, all of this is the law. I'm no longer under the law, but I'm under grace. grace. The law was never given to the Gentile, right. you and I. There Amen. are three categories of people. I'm not worried about what and, and the anthropologist has been came up with. I'm talking about what God deems Amen. as three people. There's Amen. the Hebrew, the Jews the Gentiles, and the body of Christ. You become the body of Christ when you accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. If you don't have Jewish parents, you're not, you're not Jew. Right. You're a Gentile. Amen. <laughs> okay, watch this. Exodus 20, verse 8. Remember the Sabbath day. Here we go. They stuck in the law. Remember the Sabbath day to keep it what? Holy. Holy. Now watch it. Six days shall I labor and do all thy work. So if that's the case, everything in here should be closed today. And it used to be back, back a few years ago. You couldn't do anything on Sunday. Stores were closed. Malls yeah. closed, yeah. were closed. Okay, now watch this. 
verse 10. But the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord thy God. In it thou shalt not do any work, mm -hmm. thou nor thy son nor thy daughter, thy manservant nor thy maidservant nor thy cattle nor thy stranger that is within thy gates. I don't think slaves ever took a day off. Did he, what did he, did he, did he, we'll be sure that ain't <laughs> I'm just saying. We, we be talking about the word here. Right. Okay, for, for, in the, for in six days, six, six days, six six days. days, the Lord made heaven and earth to see and all that in it in them is and rested the seventh day. Right. Wherefore, the Lord blessed the Sabbath day and hallowed it, made it holy. Mm -hmm. Okay, say the law. The law. That's the law. Right. We, the law no longer belongs to us. It never has belonged to us. Right. Jesus came, died, mm -hmm. giving us a new law. Mm -hmm. Giving us a new commandment. Not a law, but a new commandment, a new testament. Mm -hmm. We're now under the testament of grace. Amen. Go to Colossians chapter 2, verse 16. I'm going to knock this out. I don't know where all these, uh, 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 the, the denomination that you don't have an issue with this, because it says right here in the Word. Amen. So who are you going to believe? Amen. Your passage, that denomination of the Word of God. The Word of God. Amen. I'm going to believe the Word. Amen. See, women say, oh, men shouldn't have an opinion of a woman's body concerning abortion. Well, God don't have, a, he don't determine your body, he can't say nothing about your body. He said, don't kill me. Right. He said, I created Amen. that says in your womb. Mm -hmm. You didn't create that. Amen. I did that. Amen. So you don't have a say. Amen. Here's what God says if you have a say in. Keep your leg closed till you get married and you ready to have a child. That's what God says. Amen. Oops. You know, oops. <laughs> You know the consequences going into the situation. Right, right, right. Yeah. What can happen. Amen. Mm -hmm. You in Colossians? Amen. What did I say? Chapter what? Two. And verse what? Sixteen. Okay. Let no man therefore judge you in me. All right. Or in drink. Mm -hmm. Or in respect of a what? Holy we just... Y'all kind of slow. I know, I know. Uh, okay, let me get on this side. Let no man therefore judge you in what? Me? me. Or in what? Drink. Drink. Or in what? Respect, Respect of what? Of a holy day. day. We, just, we just identified that the Sabbath was a holy day. The Lord going to hollow it, make it holy. Right. So the Sabbath is a holy day. But look what the Word of God says here. Don't let no man judge you in this. Of a new moon, of the of, of the Sabbath days. Mm -hmm. The Amplified reads, "Therefore, let no one sit in judgment, all right, on you in matters of food, thank you, Lord, and drink." All right. You hear me, Doctor Tim? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Get that script and put it. We just write it, highlight it, underline. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Mr. Mm -hmm. Lisa, come to you and say, bam, Pastor. Over here, you Colossians. Two, Colossians. Two. Colossians. <laughs> Turn around and tell Jesse right now. Mm -hmm. Colossians. Two, Colossians. Two, <laughs> <Amplified. laughs> They'll both have me him up in the back. <laughs> now, you know better. You, you know y'all need to. Y'all don't need to eat. All that junk back there. Okay, watch this. Food or drink are. With regard to a feast day or a new moon or a Sabbath. Mm -hmm. Why are we arguing? All right. Amen. Mm -hmm. Why are we arguing? Mm -hmm. I, I live under the New Testament. Yes. Amen. Yes. Amen. I don't live under the law. Mm -hmm. The law was never given to me. Amen. That's right. <laughs> Amen. 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 Okay, say rest. 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 Okay, watch this. Let's keep reading. Go back into Hebrews chapter 4. Hebrews chapter 4. Let's start in verse 5. Yeah. See, there's, man, the Bible is clear. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we have all this division. The denomination and all, you need to be in church. Man, read Colossians 2.16. <laughs> Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. Only God. 
I don't have to read nothing. I, I know I know where I am. I, I'm, a, I'm a Hebrew. You <laughs> <laughs> born in Detroit. Wow. <laughs> wow. You ain't been to one synagogue, but you, you, you're a Hebrew. Tell it, Pastor. Tell it. Come on. Not one synagogue. If I had a globe sitting up in front, you couldn't even point out it's real. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> ain't talking about nobody here. Yeah. These people get on with that man, I'm black Hebrew. Yeah. Well, show me Hebrew on the map. Mm -hmm. uh, my stop coming up. I get, bing. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, bro. You claiming things you have no idea. What were you getting? It's because somebody just said it. Right. That's what's wrong with the Roman Catholic Amen. Church. They couldn't get in their word. Somebody was teaching them without them getting in their right, word. Right, Until yeah. Martin Luther opened it up and cracked it up and said, wait a minute. Mm -hmm. That ain't what he, the word says. Right. Mm -hmm. They want to kill him. Mm -hmm. Martin, look, keep running your mouth. Mm -hmm. The word says, don't have these statues in the church. Mm -hmm. right. mm -hmm. Why y'all have these statues and these pictures? That's not Mary. That's not Jesus. That's no ain't no pictures, no angels. Mm -hmm. Get this stuff off the wall. We want to get rid of this boy. Mm -hmm. Amen. The Bible says there are kings. Mm -hmm. You and I are kings. Yes. Yes. The yes. king of England said, "No, there's only one king." No, the, the word of God, Martin. We gonna, we, now we, we gonna take you to the guillotine. Now you keep running your mouth. Okay, watch this. Verse five. And in this place, talking about resting now. And in this place again, if they shall enter into my rest, All right. sing if you enter. All right. Sing, therefore, it remains that some must enter therein, and they to whom it was first preached entered not in because of unbelief. So, so, so it says, they to whom it was first preached entered not in because of what, gang? Unbelief. They didn't enter into the rest because of what? Unbelief. God says all things are possible. Amen. Yes. Yes. Amen. 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 Yes. The Amplified here says that those who formerly were given the good news, put that up on the screen, verse 6. I want them to see this. Glory to God. See, seeing then that the promise, look this, remains over from past times. You, we still have the promise. Amen. Amen. For some to enter that rest. I wonder why he says some. Because we got a lot of people that don't believe. <laughs> and that those who formerly were given the good news, we know the good news is what? The gospel. Amen. The good news about it and that the opportunity failed, they look here, failed to appropriate it and did not enter be in because of disobedience. disobedience. Look, unbelief is disobedience. Right. Amen. Amen. Unbelief is disobedience. I believe Jesus died for me. Yes, yes, amen. Amen. And in three days he was, he, 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 he was resurrected. Mm -hmm. He now sits, I believe he now sits at the right hand of the Father Amen. interceding on my behalf. Yes, I'm Lord. saved through Amen. Jesus Christ. Yes, Amen. Lord. Yes. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise it's God. my grace saved me Amen. through faith. I believe that. I don't care yes, what you Lord. say. Amen. So when people say, is everybody going to heaven? Nope. All right. Amen. Why would a God that said he loves us so much Allow us people to go. He ain't allowing you to do nothing. Right. You you doing that yourself. Right. Mm -hmm. We're not robots. Mm -hmm. Y'all see? Yeah, bring that. Watch what's wrong, TT. Okay, watch this. Ladies for the haters. <laughs> see, in some denominations, we come. We're running, we're screaming, we're shouting. All right. Now, don't get me wrong. It's nothing wrong with all of that stuff. Right. Watch this, though. Knowing that it's done, knowing that something is done out of celebration, mm -hmm. there's a difference. Watch this. Listen to me. There's a difference in praising God mm -hmm. out of celebration versus celebrating God out of desperation. Mm. All, right. All, right. Amen. All right. All right. Amen. All right. Amen. Come on. There you go. Oh, desperation. Mm -hmm. uh -oh. right. I know I'm here. Yes. yes. So my celebration is yes. Jesus. Yes. Right. yes. I don't have to. <laughs> <laughs> and some of the stuff I'm seeing on Facebook, they they dancing and the whole church dancing. <laughs> 
And when they leave, they just as ignorant right. as when they get in there. Right. Because they're there for the entertainment, right. not for word. There's a difference in praising God out of celebration versus celebrating God out of desperation. So you have to decide whether you're going to be supernatural or superficial. Ooh, all right, Pastor. That's good. That's good. Yes. And then way more, you can't say nothing to at the church. But they they, they all they high minded. Mm -hmm. Come on. You can't you can't talk to me right now. I'm dealing with the Holy Spirit. I receive. I don't know why she gave me this. You gonna write me up? For if Jesus had given them rest, given them, he's talking about the children of Israel now. Then, then, right here, matter of fact, the word translation, he's actually talking about Joshua. In the Greek now, in the Greek, the word Jesus in Hebrew is Joshua. I'm sorry, I'm saying in the Greek. In Hebrew, the word or the name Jesus translates to Joshua. So he's talking about Joshua. If Joshua had given him rest, then he would he, then he would not afterward have spoken of another day. There remained therefore a rest, verse 9, therefore remained therefore a rest to the people of God. There still remain. He's talking about us now, verse 9. Amen. And verse 9. There still remains a rest for the people of God today. Amen. Verse 10. For he that is entered into his rest, he also has ceased from his own works, as God did from his. Going back Amen. to Genesis. It said God sees from his own word. He was, all Genesis telling you, God says, everything is good. Right. I'm done. Yes. Amen. Amen. See, because before he even put Adam in the garden, he said, wait a minute. I can't make the man until the garden is complete. Mm -hmm. He Amen. didn't just put Adam in the empty garden. Amen. Amen. He said, now Adam here, I'm going to place you in this garden. Right. You get an abundance of stuff. Yes, yep. yes, yes. Yeah, just don't eat from over there. Right. Amen. But all 90% of this mm -hmm. is yours. yours. Mm -hmm. That 10% ain't yours. Right. Mm -hmm. Amen. That's all Adam had to do. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He didn't just put him in there and Adam had to, he needed a need and so it was not sufficiency. He had to have his something met. Mm -hmm. That boy got in that garden, he didn't need nothing. Amen. That's right. Amen. Amen. And then Amen. God even thought about it. He said, wait a minute. Mm -hmm. Lion, lion. Mm -hmm. Giraffe, giraffe, girl. <laughs> <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Some of y'all got it. He said, everybody got a spot. Everybody got them a female on the hood. Except for Adam. Yes. Amen. Let me give him a help me. Yes. Amen. See, he was always thinking about Adam. Yes. Did Adam, did Adam go out and work for you? Mm. No. Wow. Grace. Amen. God said, bam, I'm going to get that boy. Yes, yes, yes. He said, yes. now, y'all, look, then God said, 
I'm going to close the curtain. Mm -hmm. Y'all be fruitful multiply. Mm -hmm. See you in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> that what he told him? Yep. Amen. What he told about? He said, now, go out and multiply. Yes. yes. Amen. You can't multiply the time unless you're doing something. Amen. Now, you don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> Because you, you get a little cum. Right. She's <laughs> better than hell. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Verse 10. For he that is entered into his rest, he also has ceased from his own work. So if you see someone who's fasting because they're trying to get something, they're having it into the rest. If I can just win three souls for Christ today, they have an to rest. You don't have to do anything. Amen. Verse 11, let us labor therefore to enter into the rest, lest any man fall after the same example of unbelief. How you fail? Unbelief. When you believe something, you're not resting. When you, when you don't believe something, you're not resting. That's, that's called unbelief. Amen. When you're believing for something and you're not resting in that, that's unbelief. Mm -hmm. If I believe for finances, yet I'm trying to do it myself. I'm trying to. I'm working ten jobs. God didn't tell you to work ten jobs. Amen. Amen. <clears throat> so you working ten jobs because you doing that mm -hmm. because you don't believe God can take care of you. Amen. 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 So there you are struggling, working all in jobs, burnt out, stressed out. God said, I never told you. My burden is easy. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. Why are you working all them jobs? Mm -hmm. Believe me. Amen. Trust Amen. me. Amen. Rely on me. Amen. 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 When you say you've entered into the rest, but you're still trying to get God to do something, mm -hmm. you're trying to get something done that's already been done. That's called unbelief. He says there's only one work that remains for us Christians. That's the work of entering his rest. Amen. 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 Good word, chill. Amen. chill. See, I can chill and still, I, got, I have a job, but I'm chilling on the job. Amen. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. There's, there's nothing like the military when you go up in range. You can chill. Mm -hmm. Once you start putting on stripes, I don't pick up cigarette butt no more. Somebody else don't pick up on me. Okay, I need a cigarette butt to eat there. Mm -hmm. And this is how I used to do that. Well, all my cigarette smokers. I wouldn't let them not. Those didn't just smoke. I didn't make them do it. Amen. You smoking? Come here. Give me give me 80, y'all. Why you always picking up? Because you smoke. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Come on. I need this whole area done. Picked up. Mm -hmm. Amen. And I didn't just pick anybody to sign as leader. You want to get you a good leader. So the guy that's sucking up to you, Aaron Smith, take these other seven, get them cigarettes. He don't make sure he'll get up. But what he gonna do? He don't snitch on them. Every time they it's hard, they, they ain't trying to act right. And they ain't want him by mouth. Okay, watch this. Go back one chapter, or go, go yeah, go back one chapter to chapter three. So how do, you, how do you work to enter into rest? How do we work to enter into rest? And we're gonna go on. The going on. Isn't, it, isn't it something that the first gold medal was a woman shooting a gun? Yeah. I said, I wonder if she won't get invited to the White House. They were talking about gun control. How do you go right up to the White House? She was shooting. <laughs> and she came out said that to work. They better get off of Second Amendment. Go. Mm -hmm. Okay, Hebrew chapter 3. First and last. Y'all caught that. That's good. Y'all smart. Let me show you how to avoid not enter the rest. See, the children didn't enter the rest. The children of Israel didn't enter in because they were out of disobedience. That's why they wandered around in the wilderness for 40 years. So they could. Everything was laid out for the children of Israel, uh, of Israel coming out of Egypt. Mm -hmm. They didn't have to do nothing, mm -hmm. but because they were disobedient, murmuring and complaining. Amen. Amen. God looked at them and said, "All right, 
So this is a trip that's going to just take a couple of days, 40 years. Mm. Come on, y'all. And you want to wear your stuff in. Mm. All right. Ooh, all right. Come Amen. On. You're not ready. Mm -hmm. Okay. Verse 11. So I swear in my wrath, they shall not end into my rest. Here, here, here. This is what I'm talking about. The children of Israel. Because of their unwillingness to obey the word of God and take the land he promised them. Because he told them, the land over there is yours. Yes, amen, amen. Remember, he sent Joshua and Caleb. Mm -hmm. Twelve of them went over there. Mm -hmm. Two came back saying, let's take it. Mm -hmm. The other ten, scared. Uh -huh. Unbelievable. Uh -huh. I don't know, them some big guys over there. Scared. <laughs> they were too big to see, play, anybody play football, me in there, play football. Mm -hmm. See, you, you, you playing right now, Josh. That's a good name, Josh. You know what I mean? I think I'll be, no, don't hold me to it. I think it's been war. Josh was a fight. Yeah. That's why I say, ain't no punks in the kingdom of God. Don't Amen. let nobody yeah. tell you Amen. that. Amen. Moses was a bad boy. Don't let Moses fool you. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, watch this. When you walk out on, on, on the football field on a Friday night, Saturday morning, and you strap it on, come on, come on, Delil, help me out. When you put that helmet on, you walk out there, the, the tunnel. The first thing I did, I don't care how small I was. Mm -hmm. I'm finna knock his block off. Mm -hmm. Man, that's a, that's a big old Caucasian. Mm -hmm. White boy. Right. Some of y'all smoke. <laughs> and some dudes will be like this. You supposed to be, you know, going through drill. Some people walk around like this. Man, they sure is big. <laughs> Man, this dude gonna fall just like you fall. Right. Uh -huh. You just gotta know the right place to hit. Mm -hmm. Technique, brother, technique. Mm -hmm. He getting laid today. All right. Ooh, he, he over here talking man. He getting laid out today. <laughs> and we was over else in Germany at the time. This boy, he had to be six foot thick. I mean, that, that dude was solid like he eating cornbread all, all his life. Sick. <laughs> <laughs> and I came from that safety position, full speed, threw that shoulder into him, but I didn't get him over top. What's the weakest, weakest thing on a big man? Them angles. I lit him up. <laughs> go boo. She said, go boo. That's my team. She's a man. She's a dollar. Amen. I lit him up, Josh. Right. <laughs> and get up. He did it. Me too. <laughs> So when they, they drug him off, drug me off, I can just hear him. I can just hear him. I can just hear my, they say, man, you lay me out. You lay me I say, I, I know. I told you I was going to do it, but I didn't think I was going to lay myself out. Watch this. Come on. Come on, I got to get to work. Come on, we got to go. Verse 12. Take heed, brother, lest there be in any of you an evil heart of unbelief. And departed from the leaf. See, unbelief is evil in the sight of God. It's evil. Verse 13. But exhort one another how often? Daily. Amen. Why it is called today? At least any of you be hardened through the deceitfulness of sin. For we are made partakers of Christ. Say I'm a partaker. I'm a partaker. It says if we hold the beginning of our confidence, stand fast until the end. See, we stand in and partaking of the things of Christ are predicated, listen to me, on our confidence. Amen. Amen. Our steadfastness to the very end. That means whatever we're going through today, until Jesus come back, stay. Amen. Be confident. Amen. I'm going to overcome all I do is win. We're going to win in the end. Yes. 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 Thank you, Lord. Amen. Amen. We're going to all this, all this immorality, all of this, all these, these kids against the parents, that's going to end. Amen. 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 Thank you, Lord. It's getting ready to get flipped. Yes. Amen. 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 Okay. All right. All right. Verse 15. While it said, Today, if you will hear his voice, harden not your hearts as in the provocation. For some, when they had heard, did provoke, howbeit not all that came out of Egypt by Moses. Okay, verse 17. But with whom was he grieved? How long? Forty years. Was it not with them that had sinned, whose carcasses fell in the wilderness? No, it ain't because, just because they sinned. Verse 18, to, and to whom swear he that they should not enter into his rest, but to them that would be what? Believe not. That's what hurt them in the wilderness. 
they didn't have no belief. They was walking around in unbelief. Unbelief. He said, so we, so we see that they could not enter in because of unbelief. unbelief. Amen. Amen. The point here is nothing can keep you out of the blessings of God except for unbelief. Amen. God says, wow. I've already given you all the blessings, but you're not receiving it because you don't believe it. That's why I always tell you, you're not playing this yet. But we start, as soon as the season, probably week 14, Call you some, some no scouts. We need an agent. Amen. Right. And we call an agent. But right now, you know what you do right now? Talk to the best. I'm teaching. Amen. Amen. I'm, I'm teaching. Amen. But you do not, you but your your job is is to stand at rest. Amen. This is what you do. Lord, I thank you that I'll be playing yes. the yes. football yes. Yep. next year. Amen. Amen. That's my that's what I'm praying every every day. Amen. When I'm walking around the house, Lord, I thank you. I'm gonna be starting. We're in the National Football League. I'm going to be playing in the National Football League. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Amen. Then Amen. what you need to be doing is continue working out. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Amen. I believe. I believe. Amen. I believe. Yes. I believe. Yes. I believe. Yes. I believe. Yes. Amen. I have to do it. Amen. 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 I won't be here the next 40 years. Amen. Amen. I know what my building to look like. Amen. Elbow room. I want them far away from me as they possibly can. So I want to hear them like that. I love them, but they ain't going to go far away. Amen. Watch this. When we going home. Unbelief is all that kept the children out of the, the children of Israel out of the promise. Unbelief. It wasn't the devil. It wasn't their circumstances or the giants in the land. You're in control of this. They were in control of what we, we, you and I, we're in control of what we believe. Amen. Amen. And you can make it if you believe God. Amen. Praise God. Amen. You can Lord. make it if you believe God. Amen. 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 Glory to God. If you're a believer, we're going to close. If you're a believer, you ought to be at rest. Amen. Amen. You should be resting. Amen. 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 Let, let, me, let me leave you with this. If it, if it was God's plan, if it was God's plan for Christians to enter into rest when they and then and then they physically die mm -hmm. and go to heaven, why in the world wouldn't it be more logical than that once you get saved, boom, they'll go to heaven. But, but none of us do. We receive Jesus Christ, I want to say, but we believe. We believe in his salvation. Amen. But you stay right here. Amen. But why would God send you here if all the blessings were there in heaven? Mm -hmm. if, if that's how it worked, we, none of us would be here. We'd all be sitting at the right hand of the Father, enjoying not the life here, the life here. <coughs> he says, I've given you everything to enjoy. Here. Now it's your job to appropriate it. How? By faith. Amen. Amen. Everything in the kingdom of God, everything under grace is appropriated by faith. Amen? Amen. 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 God, some love. Amen.